Okay, once you're at the end of um, the installation, so you've got your bracket mounted in the dual battery system. This is on a 200 series Land Cruiser, but most of them are very similar. Um, so in this particular case, we've got the auxiliary battery on the driver's side, and the main start battery is on the passenger side in this vehicle. So we've followed our instructions, we've mounted the bracket, we've threaded the cables up to each battery, and we're just gonna make our final connection. So I'm just gonna run you through how, how to do that. So just a socket or a spanner. Um, this one, and you'll see your cable is labeled auxiliary battery. Obviously the red one is gonna to go to the positive terminal of the battery, and the black lead is going to go to the negative. So we'll just start by doing the auxiliary battery first. And the auxiliary battery is quite easy because there's no existing cabling there. If you've just installed a secondary battery, this is probably the only cable going on or the first cable that's going on. So it's just a matter of nipping those up. When you come over to the start battery, you're gonna have existing um, cabling from Toyota. So what we're gonna do is we'll start on the negative once again. And we're just gonna undo that nut on top of the negative terminal taking that fully off and once again just make sure you've got main battery on that cable and we are at the main battery so I'm just going to put that negative on and do up that nut and same for the positive take the existing nut off this vehicle already has some accessories that have been fitted in the past. So these two cables may not be on yours, but and that's done up. So that's how simple the electrical connections are in the dual battery system. Everything else has been pre-done. All you need to do is just connect like that to both batteries. That's it. Job done. Now it's time to test.